So I'm very honoured today to be here with Frederick Klassen. Um, and I, I, I mean, we've met a couple of times before, and you've been involved in helping ACVO adapt its plans and its business plan to, you know, in order to help us get get the kind of funds we need to build the kind of tools we want to build. Yeah. But I, I don't really know that much about your background, and I wonder if you could just tell me about, I mean, how you got got to where you are and what you what you do today. Yeah, that's 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 a good question because it's not I'm not the obvious person in the water sector. I've been working for 40 years at ABN Emerald Bank, uh, mainly structured finance and these kind of businesses. So what's what structured finance? Well, finance structured finance are the more complicated loans yeah. that you give to companies. And I, I'm always fascinated about money, not not having it by myself. Well, I need to have enough, of course, to live. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I'd like to bring money to the good things. And structured finance didn't give me that, that idea that I really brought the money to the good things. So I started to think about microcredits and microfinance. How, how do you get the poor people bankable? And, and, and then I made a move to another company uh, where I work now, the micro water facility. What I do actually do, Mark, now is that I help entrepreneurs or, or organizations to write good business plans, to find the appropriate partners, to attract enough financial means to start up the business. Yes. And, and the kind of people you have, I mean, you, you must see a lot, of, a lot of business plans come through. And what are the sort of things that, that often people don't understand when they're trying to pull these things together? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good question too, because it's not only the plan, but it's the man or the woman and the plan. Yeah. So the, you, can, you can write down a lot of things you want to do, but you need the people to, to, to really make it alive. So what, what a lot of things are lacking in plans is a good governance structure, you know, a good uh, structure about responsibilities and a man or a woman who's got the real entrepreneurial attitude to, to make the plan work. Well, one of, one of the things that I think we really learned from you with as we developed the Act for Business Plan was that even if you were developing a, you know, a not-for-profit foundation, it was going to be, you still had to have a revenue model in there. Yeah, because it makes it possible to attract different kind of financial means. If you don't have a revenue model in it, you're, you're, you, know, you, you can ask for donations and you will probably get some donations. But if you want to talk to the financial sector or to private equity or venture capitalists, you need to prove to those people that you have a, a solid revenue model, a solid business model, that the business can run by its own means and not is fully depending on, on donations. Yeah. Well, one of the things, that, as you know, is, as a Brit that I've noticed it's sort of about the Dutch is that they, they're, just, they're just amazing business people. <laughs> and and um, also that they, they have quite a flexible idea about where the things will go. And like, I mean, a lot of the time when I've worked, particularly in the, within the States, mm -hmm. where everything has to be absolutely worked out in every detail before you do anything. Mm -hmm. Whereas I tend to find that in the Netherlands there's a sort of, we know what we want to achieve, so let's start moving. And then let's, let's start to understand more about what we do. Does that make sense? To, uh, it makes sense in a way. I mean, I think Dutch have a very practical approach. We have a spirit about trading and, and making money out of things. But on the other hand, we are very poor innovator, innovators, I think. The, we, we have a lot of innovation going on in the water and sanitation sector in the Netherlands. I mean, we're well known yeah. for our water know-how. But we well, you, have, you have to be, don't you? Because if you didn't, it didn't have the knowledge, you'd all be underwater. Yeah, we would have wet feet. We're <laughs> swimming all the time. But, <laughs> so we know a lot about it. But these, these are all, most of them are technological guys or women that innovate new things. And the trick is, how do you do? You, how do you get these innovations on the market? Yeah, that's the trick. And 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 that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to help them with. Yeah. Great. Well, good to talk to you. Great. And, uh, thanks for coming to uh, Water Cube. Okay. Thanks. thanks.